Hi, today we are going to see how to de develop a game using the arcade library. So you can see the scores here getting incremented and uh, I am also having this robot. It uh, collects points for me and that's what a simple game is and let's see how to do this. First of all I will type python arcade and get go here and then I will click this link and then in this link I will uh, get the link on how to install this library so it's pip install arcade I have already installed this you do it in your command line terminal somewhere and get the library installed copy paste this and then once you do that then what we will do we will go to this uh, arcade library here we have a lot of information and how it works and a lot of things so we are basically going to develop a very simple game using this library uh, let's get and develop our code okay so this is the basic structure of our code so we will be having a main class so the main class will be our game and then we have a setup function and on draw function these all have the methods implemented already in the arcade library what we can do is we can override them and get our things done so this setup here what we are going to do is we are going to create our uh, um, characters or I mean we are going to initialize our character or we are going to put some rules and uh, do some basic setup for the game and then we have this on draw here in on draw what we are going to do is whatever we created the coins and characters that we are going to show it in the screen that logic we are going to put it in this part of the function and then we have on mouse motion here we are to go, we are going to decide on mo moving the mouse what is going to happen and then on update so what happened with well, this is like a, a function that gets called continuously or it uh, listens for a while let's say it keeps listening to whatever ha is happening so when we uh, move our mouse for example uh, what needs to be updated is uh, the coin count whenever i go and hover over a coin the coin should coin count should increase that's what is this function is and also the coin should disappear that logic is going here so this is the basic structure of the program that we are going to write let's start let's start importing the um, um, I, I'll be importing random I'll be using it somewhere and then I'll uh, import arcade this is the library that I'm going to use class coin game so it it needs to uh, call the uh, parent class arcade dot window so this arcade.window has uh, all of our uh, uh, functions and we are going to use that here. So that is our parent class. Now let's create our constructor. So this is our constructor. And now what we are going to use, we are going to uh, call our uh, parent class. So what we are going to pass it to our parent class is the uh, length, height and the title of the um, title of the window that we are going to see. As you saw earlier, we created a window here on which we displayed our game. So we are going to create that window here. So let me add uh, 800, 600 and uh, some title like uh, coin game or something. Coin game. So this is what I'm going to use. So this is basically my so basically uh, my uh, class is done here. So now we are going to uh, define our uh, create our variables that will store the uh, coin list and the player list. So this is my player list. And also I'm going to have the coin list and I'll be having the player because I need to what I need to do is I basically need to uh, create few things like I will uh, 
uh, create the coin list and the player list and then I have separately this player we have this player because what we are going to do to the player is we are basically going to um, add some attributes to that player like we selected a character like a robotic character we can add some animated character there oh, so your favorite animated character like Goku or some some character like that sorry about the semicolon I am so used to C++ this, this I use this everywhere so yes that's what it is and I, I missed the indentation as well yes, that's it is that's it so these are the three uh, three variables that we have to declare we'll have score as well self dot score so this is going to be zero in the beginning and then uh, later we're going to add some other values to it now let's actually create the setup what we are going to do here is basically whatever we created self dot playlist and uh, the coin list we are going to give some attributes to it so we have this uh, function called sprite list so what this is doing is it we take it from arcade we do arcade dot sprite list what it does is basically uh, um, it considers uh, in arcade so the word sprite it's pretty important it considers that as an element of a type that element we can color it we can take it as an animation or something it's uh, mainly when you have a game you have a character or let's say you are playing super mario so you have uh, mario which is a which is like a sprite and you have a couple of blocks uh, and trees and so many structures and turtle, turtles coming towards you that every element of that every single element is a sprite so we are making this a sprite list so it's a terminology then we will be making this coin list is equal to rk dot sprite list so after this what we do is let's provide um, some features to our player so what we do is now um, we have to here inside the sprite we have to take an animation so how do we take animation so what we basically uh, we, we have to assign a player to it so that means let's say that player can be a mario or some other character or anything so how do we do that is we basically go to this arcade library and then here we have resources yes resources so here in the resources they provide us with a lot of characters as you can see them here uh, some alien we have and then we have this female adventurer girl and then we have this female person and this male adventurer and we can take any of them so we basically have to do we have to copy this and then paste it here and then we have to decide what is the kind of uh, animation that we want so we basically want this idol right here we don't want them to move or anything because we just have to coin collect the coins so I'm going to do this and another parameter that we are going to add is um, we have to add the size of that basically so you have this here so we have to add this size the scale of that so I'll be adding uh, let's say 0.5 that, that should be sufficient so that's how we create our player pretty simple right dot append self dot player we I will tell you why this player and player list are there like two separate entities we have one player here but we could have managed by that but let's just know let's see why is that done so now we have created our player successfully and inserted that into player list now let's create oh uh, let's create um, 50 coins or something similar or 50 or 100 or something so in range so we're going to insert create 50 coins here so what we're going to do is um, we have this uh, self dot we have uh, 
self dot oh, okay we don't have any self dot coin right so okay it's fine self dot coin is equal to uh, rk dot sprite so we are going to insert two coins here so we are basically taking two parameters and uh, the size of this coin let's say 2.25 so that's fine but the coin icon or the animation that I'm going to add I'm going to take it from here again so we have already we have this already so let's see I guess it should be in shapes or somewhere hopefully it's in shapes okay this is the one So I'm going to copy this and paste it here and the uh, one that we want is this coin gold.png so it's basically an image so we have this coin so we have already created the coin that we need so what we will be doing we need to assign it some position in our window right for assigning the position what we are going to do is we are we have uh, we have this what is that we have a fun we have the property the property is um, see let's see if we get it here so it's something like uh, uh, yes center X so we have to do we have to create it randomly right so rand range so this is the width so width of this i'm um, we are having 800 so it should get any random variable random number between 0 to 800 and i assign that to this coin so the position of the coin will be that so now i have to assign it uh, it some y axis as well so coin dot center y is equal to random dot rand range we have the width of our window as 600 that's what we made here right so i can show you here is yes. 800 is the width 600 is the uh, oh sorry about this so it should be capital w and see 800 is the width and 600 is the height so we have this so within this height and width we will be assigning them the random positions so it wants to come here 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 some somewhere like that uh, we'll be creating them randomly and then now let's push them inside our coin list so we have this coin list dot append the item is self dot coin so we both we have our uh, character and we have the coins here so the setup is almost done Define draw so basically what we do here is show whatever we want to show on the screen so basically we do put draw in front of everything uh, self dot player list dot draw so this is one of the things that we had to draw and then we have this uh, coin list that we have to draw and then what we have another thing is we need to show the score score is one thing that we need to draw but we do not know what what score contains and uh, where we need to position them so we are going to use one function we'll go back to this here the uh, website of Arcade Academy and we're going to uh, go with the package api so we need to put the score as a text field right so we have this draw text function so we will be going to put uh, some text like score and then we'll be putting the coordinates of that and the color and the font size so that's what we're going to do before that let me declare self dot uh, let's say this is like um, score okay we have the score already so let's uh, this text should be fine and uh, this will be uh, score and 
will be having this as well here so hope the syntax is wrong self dot score is I, I think this should be fine so this is the text that we're going to dis, uh, show in the screen and this is the result that we're going to put it along with and now let's uh, use that function that we spoke of rk dot we have a lot of functions here that you can see so we have text and then we will be having uh, some coordinates where we need to put this so let that be 10 20 and then um, we'll use some color so let this be white and then the font size let it be 15 this not be associated to our uh, class y to associate so yes this should be the draw function and we have everything on our screen right now so what is left is making the game logic that is what should happen when I play the game we will split this into two functions so one is on mouse motion so as you can see this is an inbuilt function which takes five elements self x float float y and dx and dy so I'm going to say what this does so basically when our player moves uh, this on mouse motion is the function that comes into uh, play picture so x and y are its coordinates and dx and dy are the uh, changes small changes in time since the last change happened so you can come here and see this function definition here so we can override this function basically change in x since last time this method was called so this is what this function is so this is one of the logic of our the game so what we are going to do basically here is we have this uh, player we have our uh, um, player so what we are going to do with this is we will be putting okay sorry about this it's not this it's self self dot player so we will be assigning its uh, axis right so so what is the syntax that we use this center underscore x so this will be x and self dot player dot uh, center dot underscore y is equal to y so basically when we move the mouse the uh, instead of the cursor our player will move that's how we control the uh, player that's what the basic logic of this is so this is on mouse motion so this is our final logic final piece of our code that's on update so basically what happens here is when we play our game uh, some things change like I move my player here and gain some coins or extract some coins so based on that change it should the change should reflect and some logic should happen in the back end and some results should be seen in the UI so that's what happens here this is the core logic or the core function that is needed so let's uh, we have this coin list so let's use this update function on it so we get the fresh data so basically what we are going to do right now is we are going to get the uh, coins that were hit coins collided is equal to we are going to use this function here check for collision with list so this is also a function that you can see here so it basically what it does is it takes uh, two parameters so this is the player and this is the coins so it says if this player was hit uh, to any of the coins so this is our player that's sprite and this is the sprite list that's the coin list and returns list of sprites collided so it will return us um, which coins were collided and we have to remove those coins from the UI so you we have to remove those coins from the screen and show that and add that to the point that's what we're going to do here so here we will have this uh, self dot player so this is our sprite that got collided to uh, coin list so what we're going to do now 
among these coins collided we are going to remove that uh, coins like every coin we are going to remove so for coin in coins collided we have to uh, we have to increment the score so self dot uh, score is equal to self dot score plus one and now to remove this coin we are going to use another function that function is remove remove from sprite list so we're going to see go to the documentary the documentation and see that function again so remove the sprite from all sprite lists so with the sprite lists are this coin list and the player list so when the coin gets collided we are going to simply remove that so we don't have headache of again coding this so our program now is done now let's write the main function so this is the main function so what we're going to do is we're going to create a create an object of this class coin game we are going to do the setup and then we are going to run the program and let's do this as well and now we can run this here so hopefully we have not made any mistakes that's what I believe but let's see well it seems like we have few issues and let's debug well it seems we have mr character here sprite list where well, i see i think there is another here uh, issue here so this is the for loop and now let's see i guess there could be another set of issues here i'm not too sure man when i make videos i make mistakes yes there is an issue here the error is here it should be small c and now let me see let me compile and run this game okay we have something here oh my god there is a big mistake i let's see what the issue is but so, so we got something on the screen right that makes us happy yes we seem to have missed uh, missed an important uh, function here that's uh, start render so as you can see here we need to set this up before we draw anything on the screen so this is the main thing so it's a big deal and uh, hopefully that should fix the issue because okay i think we're seeing one and two but why do we have only two coins instead of 50 let's debug that too yes there we go we have the error here so we missed the range so uh, we were not actually uh, typing we were we had to bring it take 50 objects right but in this for i in uh, 0 comma 50 it only takes two values that's why two coins were created but when you we use a range function it uh, takes from 0 to 50 and that creates like 50 objects so we're going to create 50 coins and that's the issue so here we go we have the game here and we are going to find, uh, create a uh, we are going to 